As some of you may remember, in my Armadillo review, I mentioned that hopefully the movie would spark a debate. Now, to be fair, I haven't read all of the reviews and all of the discussion about it thus far, but something has just come to my attention. The fact that some of the soldiers have since regretted what they said on camera, note, not necessarily in direct interviews, is now being used to attack the film. Let me repeat that. The film is apparently less of a documentary or less of an accurate documentary because some people are unhappy about what they said. Isn't that a bit like lamenting something you said years ago with the excuse, well, I didn't think you were listening to me? A college-educated female officer is calling the movie one-sided. Well, I suppose that is one way to attack the facts when they don't support your particular stance. From what I understand, she accused the film of giving a negative image of the military in Afghanistan. The director replied that he merely shot what was there and, and cut it together. Now, again, like I said, I want to debate about this subject. It doesn't bother me that some people are defending the troops seen in the film. What does bother me is when someone tries to avoid a debate by not actually addressing the subject. Rather than defending the people seen in the movie, this officer appears to simply try to attack the validity of the documentary. And in my view, this is extremely easy to deflect. So here's my suggestion. Arrange for a group of people who are not on either side, or at least some of whom are not specifically on either side, to watch all of the raw footage. If they find any footage that they would have liked to be in the film that they think would have completely changed the film, then they can prove it, and I think they should be allowed to. Heck, we could take it one step further. How about an interview of every single photographer on the movie in which the interviewer does his best to determine if any of them had some kind of bias or if the director did to make the film negative towards the troops? Oh, I don't think they should have to, but Apparently they do. Again, I have no problem with people debating over this movie. That's exactly what I hope comes out of this documentary. On the other hand, I cannot stand when someone tries to avoid a debate, probably because they think that their position is very weak, simply by attacking the people instead of the issue. I say, let the facts speak for themselves. Let people think about this. Don't come in and try to say that this is a bad documentary because you disagree with it. If you think it's one-sided, I've already made my suggestion for how I think we could easily determine if it is or not. I think quite a few, former and current, men and women, would be saying about the same things as this woman does. It's the identity. It's the camaraderie. It's that they define themselves as members of this group before individuals. Remember that scene in the film where he talks to all of them and says, Is there someone here who doesn't agree with us? My father's pointed out several times what that officer should have done. He should have confronted them one at a time without the others knowing. If you ask me, it's comparative to bullying. It takes a lot of willpower to be able to stand up against the people who you depend most on for your very survival and say, I don't agree with what we're doing. The people I want to hear from in this whole thing are the people who have been in combat and have regretted it. What I would like would be interviews with these people in which they describe why they have since come to dislike their time in the army. Obviously, when the army is seen as one uniform group, the people who speak out against it will be very, very few. I do want to make it clear, I have nothing against our troops. Anybody who's willing to fight for what they believe in, fight to defend something that they believe, deserve respect. Particularly when they do so under certain rules and when they do stop and question what they're doing. What I have a problem with here is the dishonesty. The attempt to remove the focus from the subject onto the people who are treating it. Because I don't think that that is fair. Now, if it turns out that I'm wrong about this, if it turns out that they were biased, 
I will admit my mistake. Until then, let's please get a dialogue going here. You know, dialogue, debate, one of the cornerstones of democracy. Isn't that what they're fighting for?